Hello and welcome to your 13th Minecraft Forge modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.4.7. This is SciGuy1121 and let's go ahead and get started. So in the last tutorial I talked to you about how to add a custom food and in this tutorial I'm going to talk to you about how to uh, finally release your mod. Now this is not going to be the last Forge tutorial by far. There is a lot I still have not covered. Um, however this is sort of the point where I feel we're going to stop doing the basic stuff and start moving into more advanced stuff. Um, so I'm just going to talk about how to release your mod and um, that'll be that. I'll just start up um, as normal from there. So um, what we're going to do is go into your old MCP folder in inside MCP uh, Forge Tutorials or whatever your MCP is named. Um, what we're going to want to do is, if you're on Mac, open up Terminal. And, of course, if you're on Windows, then you're just going to click on the .bat file. Um, but I'm going to cd to this folder. And then um, I'm just going to type bash. And the first thing we're going to want to run is this recompile.sh. Now what this is going to do is decompiling, um, basically took all of the code out of Minecraft and recompile puts all of it including the new code into it. So just run recompile.sh. Remember if you're on Windows you're going to run recompile.bat and it finishes a lot more quickly than decompile did. Um, however, it does take a little bit. Um, but you'll see it's going to give us recompiling client, da da da. And then it'll say, cannot find server sources, try decompiling. That is normal because we don't actually have um, the server part of our mod. Um, so don't it, just ignore that. Now what you're going to want to do is just type bash, or if you're on Windows, run the file, and then drag in this reobfuscate.sh. Now what this is going to do is it's going to take your code and turn it into Java class files. And then it's going to put them in um, a folder that's very easy for us to find and um, just um, export. Now you'll see for all of your new classes, it'll say new class found and then the um, path of your class. And then it'll say outputted, da da da, whatever the class is. At the end, it'll say cannot find server md5s, that's again because we don't have the server source. Now if you go into your Forge Tutorials folder, you'll see that inside reob, re uh, so reobf, if we go in here, you'll see Minecraft, and then the name of your mod, and then client, and common. Now, um, so that's basically all of the code for your mod. Now what I'm going to do is outside of this, inside my MCP folder, just create a new folder and I'll name this um, tutorial. Um, but you can put this, you can name this whatever your mod name is and do name it whatever your mod name is. Um, now if we go in here and we have reobfuscate Minecraft, copy in this tutorial folder or whatever your, the folder is named. And then, finally, what we're going to want to do is create a new folder inside this tutorial uh, folder, and that is going to be named um, whatever the... Um, if you did have a separate package for your textures, name it that. If you didn't, uh, for example, I have my textures right under tutorial, then what we're going to do is go in here, and then it should be under jars, bin... No, that's not it. Um, if I can find it. Uh, doo -doo -doo, source, Minecraft, tutorial, and tutorial textures.png is right here. Just copy this folder and put it inside tutorial, tutorial, right there. And it should run um, very well. Now, you're going to want to compress this into a .zip folder, so .zip folder. Um, if you're on Mac, you just do compress, tutorial. Not quite sure how you do that on Windows. Uh, if people who know how can put that in the comments um, to help out other people, that would be great. 
And then what you do is you're going to upload this tutorial.zip or whatever the name is to a file sharing website, um, create something on the Minecraft forums and distribute it. Now what you're going to want to do is be sure to tell people who download your, your mod to unzip this tutorial.zip folder. If you just put the tutorial.zip folder inside the mods folder, it's going to crash Minecraft. What you need to do is just um, open with, I have um, archive utility, and you're going to want to put this tutorial folder inside the mods folder um, of Minecraft. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I will probably talk to you about how to add a configuration file to your mod. Um, that makes it a lot more compatible with other mods. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. Bye.